Greetings. My name's Rurik, and I come from a dangerous and ancient line of dwarves, sworn to order and control. As a seraph, I've taken a vow to a god that helps me channel sacred arcane power to keep my party on their feet. I may not know where fate will guide me now, but by the time the earth takes me, they'll be singing my story across the world. Hello, hello, hello. The name's Scratch. I'm a swashbuckling seaborn Katari with a devil may care attitude. As a rogue, I've experience with sidestepping the law, dealing with the underbelly of a city, preferring to move quickly and fight quietly. Which, if you aren't careful, can get you in a load of trouble, banished from your home and left to wander the seas. But where's life without a little bit of risk? I'm Tuyet Frostmart, a wild-born fairy ranger. As a ranger, my keen eyes and graceful haste make me indispensable in tracking down enemies and navigating the wilds with my companion, a phoenix named Isa. My rebelliously positive attitude may seem naive or innocent at times, but it is founded in the knowledge that sorrow is inevitable, but joy is worth the choice. Hi, I'm Kiku, a seaborn ribbit. As a newly discovered sorcerer, I'm formed and shaped by the will of the arcane and learning how to wield that power to get what I want. Not sure what that is yet, but my first teacher set me on a path of understanding. Now, with my love of the stars, I set out to discover what this world has to offer, and I hope it's a lot. Hi, the name's Radani, aka Rain. I'm a daemon wanderborn. As a druid, I am a force of nature, preserving the balance of life and death by channeling the wilds themselves through me. I will act as nature's voice and be their steward right after this nap. I am Tenzin, a fawn from the tall snowy peaks at the crown of the world. As a warrior, I run into battle without hesitation or caution knowing I can strike down whatever enemy may stand in my path. I have been trained to keep focused even amidst the most chaotic of storms, and I have personally sworn to protect the innocent, ensuring that what happened to my son will never again happen to any child on my watch. I'm Joe, pronouns she, they.
much. Um, but generally just a time for all of us to get to know each other a little more. Um, we talked about uh, divinity in the world a little bit with uh, mm -hmm. our gods of past, present, and future, and how mm -hmm. some of us are connected to that. Uh, before we moved into Night Watches, where we were attacked in the middle of the night by wolves, bloodthirsty wolves, but we fended them off because we're so cool, and we found out that they also had a little bit of that corruption going on inside them as well. So what's going on there? Who knows? Well, who knows? That is that is truly the question, huh? Um, do you do we remember the uh, current quest? Why we're out here in the middle of the woods? And you gotta go find the druid. The druid's capable of fixing the corruption. There we go. And do you remember uh, how to get to the druid? I look at a ranger. Go north. I don't remember. Yes, give me a second. So cute. I love it. Go I'm north. scrolling in my notes. I'm scrolling. Um, hang on. This, this is important. I want my head north into the there. whispering wilds to the Vale yes. Pitched River. Cross the river. Not too far off, you'll see a boulder looking like a fish jumping out of the water. Take a day and head into the Crystal Hollow, a cavern-like system. It should empty out into a grove where the druids reside. Yeah, very nice. Um, as I recall, there has been some excellent uh, uh, survivalist moments going on. And you guys are a little bit ahead of schedule. Um, that was before you got attacked by Strix Wolves, of course. Um, so there you are. But um, where we had last left off, we you had taken care of these um adversaries that were chaotically coming through your campground and um able to cut one of them uh open to find a sort of like owl pellet as these strict wolves are part um owl and part wolf uh you found a sort of owl pellet goodness in its middle, and it was completely covered within this corruption. Um, glowing, uh, a menacing green, as, as we have uh, seen the corruption uh, show itself within these creatures and plants as well. So I suppose my question here is, um, do we want to pick up right here, or would we like to move on to the next day? Well, we have to figure out some mechanical thing about uh, the long the long rest. Mm -hmm. Because I have to tend to stress HP and armor. And mm -hmm. with the new beta, uh, the Seaborn cannot do three things in a short rest anymore. Oh, we lost no. that. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, that was a little OP. We actually got two uh, of my up. characters. I actually think we got something better because whenever we roll with fear, we collect tokens and we can use those fear tokens to add to attack rolls later. Very so uh, at the end, nice. that's kind of dope. At so, the end of the session, fair, all of those leftover tokens go turn away. into hope. Is that what oh, it nice. Go that's away. Cool. They turn into hope. They turn into wow. to, to be fair, I my. Fairy oh, also no. lost something from her, their uh, features, and what sucks about it is it was the thing that could help everybody. You don't get to do that anymore. Not Fairy with like with uh, with the Wildborn community, um, but for I could spend something and I think spend a hope and make everybody quiet, like pass without a trace. For those of you who are into that realm. Mm -hmm. um, but uh ish um i can no longer do that i just sneaky me just me just you just use this quiet just okay you. i i get the advantage nobody I else does that. so yeah so, i think they took away from every at least you guys got something back i did not okay. i got nothing there, I think there was oh uh, go ahead and I think armor slots are higher now because I, I yes. have six. Yes, Hello. everyone yes, that now. Yes, that is Dang. one of the things that has changed. Is we've you mm -hmm. guys have gotten a little more um, fortitude beef to your armor, which is very nice. 
Um, there's been a, little, a few other changes, especially HP. when it comes to advantage and disadvantage. So um, we can get into that soon. But my question is, it's sounding like a long rest, but is that where we want to pick up? Do you, would you like to have the long rest now? Uh, I'm just going to say that I'm going, unless someone can help me, I'm taking away stress and HP. I'm keeping the three dings to my armor. Mm -hmm. Just so yeah, narratively, I'm, I'm cool I can let... Right now. That's fine by me. Long rest is still. A long rest. Let's do it. So, yeah. as uh, as my uh, players here look into their downtime for a long rest, I will explain once again how this long rest situation goes about. It obviously takes several hours to complete. It um, usually you have to be able to sleep through it. Um, you get to swap out domain cards if, if you would like to do so, um, and then you do two of any of these options you can tend to your wounds as was described here um you get to uh mark off all hit points that had been marked you kind of get to clean the whole slate there or you can help an ally doing that that's tending to wounds um clearing a stress it's the same thing but with all of your stress um you get to decompress a little bit and take all those, that stress away. Uh, you can repair armor. Um, that way, your all of your armor slots are cleared up and ready to go. You can prepare. Um, so you would describe how you're preparing yourself for the next day's adventure, and that would give you a, a hope to start with. If you do this preparing with another person, um, you each take two hope and then you can also be working on a project throughout this um, they do a, a really fun thing with this uh, 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 dagger heart system where you can establish that you're starting a project or uh, creating something that takes a longer period of time to do and it's something that you can do during your downtime and uh uh, we get to see if you are um, completing that or not. So that's pretty cool. So, players, uh, we heard what Kiku is going to be doing. Um, not touching the the armor, just the stress and the hit points. Um, Kiku, how do you de-stress upon this evening? As they've taken some damage and they've taken quite a bit of stress, they just kind of lay down in the grass the mud whatever they find and just kind of like like starfish and just stare up at the stars and just zone i love it it's so cute just sink a little bit into the into the earth of it that's so cute um excellent okay um who, who has the next bit here what what uh, are we planning i would like to for my my two things in my long rest uh, mm -hmm. first get the clink clanking on my armor make it nice and fixed and sturdy up again um and then after that i uh, i'm going to take some time um and anyone's welcome to join rurik if they'd like to but if not he's just gonna sit by himself um and in the 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 mud and earth of this uh draw out little like arcane runes almost in front of him uh it seems to be like studying almost uh and i'm gonna call that what i'm gonna do I, I can't remember what it's called it's like the gain of hope option the uh the the prepare preparing prepare. You're preparing i'm centering my mind day. yeah okay um we're preparing for the next day well yeah. through through um ritual. some kind of ritual yeah very cool um i'll go next uh, Scratch is going to, uh, kind of rustle up next to the fire and start pulling out, um, his, his leathers and, and, uh, a leather workings kit and starts repairing his armor. And he gets ab about, like, halfway through and then he gets distracted with, like, a noise off in the distance. You know, like, when, when your cat notices the dot, all of a sudden mm -hmm. that kind of stop and then move, move kind of situation. Seeing that Kiku's armor is left untouched, mm, mm -hmm. and kind of halfway done with his own armor, sets it to the side, grabs Kiku's armor, and is going to spend both 
uh, his things with repairing not only his own armor, but also Kiku's. Oh, nice. So nice. That's so great. Um, as you continue, um, there, I think there are moments, though, Scratch, that you, uh, within the the woods here, you're you're so used to um, the water. You're so used to being on sea a noises at the same and, time. and land noises. Very yeah, different. Very different. And uh, as a lot of uh, the the nighttime uh, animals and things start coming out, uh, you notice that I think there is moments where you see a little glimmer of something and you look and there's like little glow flies that are just kind of as a uh as almost like a a school uh within the air kind of moving around and passing through the area it's like a whole bunch of those uh red dots but they're they're like lavender colored that just kind of move through um the, your encampment. A hundred and fifty percent on his watch. He just can't help himself. He turns into a five-year-old child and goes chasing after them, trying to catch them. <laughs> Absolutely, he can't help Adorable. it. <laughs> they they move up higher into the into the trees. They kind of scatter a little bit, and you'll notice that these glowflies kind of they love to stay in a clump, right? They love to stay. Uh, relatively near each other, uh, almost like a, almost like a pack tactic in a way, mm -hmm. and then scatter like a school of fish, um, <laughs> and then move back together every so often. They stay around the encampment, just kind of, I think probably um, entranced with the uh, campfire light that you have here. And but once those move to embers, they move on. Um, who else? Uh, I'll go. Um, Fiat is, uh, for once was actually hit in this, um, and is a little stressed. Uh, so she <laughs> is going to, um, pull, uh, for once Issa, who kind of bounces around from everybody, especially at the campsite, um, and likes to be at the fire, um, has come over and has like kind of curled up onto its chest and to its up in a tree like in the crook of a of a branch and um is going to just be cuddling isa and um if you looked there's just a little bit of a radiating um like you know the the the, the, the heat wave that you can see off of a fire kind of yes, thing yeah, yeah it's that kind of effect coming off of isa that's almost like a purr and Aww, um, i love that and so she's just going to be um using this kind of um uh sort of like a um uh, i don't know how to explain it i was trying i had a word in my head and it went goodbye uh yeah. <laughs> this this like um like a just a mending per kind of you know effect of just and we'll probably just fall asleep there unless somebody tries to get her attention trying to both de-stress and also heal a little bit Perfect. So, clearing out her hp and her stress i love it so cute okay i think i'm left um tenzin is going to um he has a lot of experience as a warrior um, of his northern mountain village at the crown of the world. Um, and he's he has learned how to take care of himself in combat type situations, being out in the field often, which is uh, uh, what he does. Um, and so he is going to use his, his little hammer and some leather scissors and all other kinds of things that he has and he's going to repair his armor um but he's going to do that after he takes out um just a few herbs um that some of the the really hardy um quick grasses that that grow up in the tundra um not many things do grow there but there are just a few of those things that that help so he's going to get some of those herbs and some bandages and tend to his wounds. And so that's what I'm doing. Hit points and armor. Hit points and armor. Very nice. 
Marvelous. <clears throat> All right, friends, adventurers, as you, um, as sleep eventually uh, takes all of you, even throughout your watches and whatnot, um, you are able to wake up within the morning uh, ready for the next uh, portion, the next leg of this journey. Uh, you know that you are relatively close to the river. Uh, you can't quite hear it yet, but you can feel it like uh, within the earth when when Kiku like uh, sits down into the earth, he sinks a little bit because you guys know that you're you're relatively close to that river. What's the plan? All right, uh, on with another day's worth of travel. Stretch my hamstrings out, and I had to get down. <laughs> Think we'll uh, run into any other corrupted beast out there today. Stretch Small flex, talks for losers, anyway. I agree. Right. <laughs> it's not walking off. That panic moment where you're trying to think of something to respond with, and you got I nothing. Got nothing. That's brilliant. That, that, is, that is my favorite thing ever. You, you just I, get meet with with bleared eyed, like half asleep cap cat eyes, and then a long lanky stretch, and then walking on. I love it. No. I'm gonna use that in my everyday life. No just, breakfast first. No, no, no breakfast. Okay, start eating as I go. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities. Prim yes. 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 <laughs> um, you guys. Uh, uh, clean up, uh, make sure that your campfire's completely out, mm -hmm. and um, you're able to move on throughout uh, this time. I would like to know which one of you is leading this uh, trek to our next point, Man, which should be the river. I am, I'm going to point right to the ranger. <laughs> Way to I, throw I, someone under the bus. I think I really want to make this you in the roll. bag. But <laughs> you do things in the wild too, bro. <laughs> True. This is not really my terrain. I I will keep a lookout this way. Uh and you keep a lookout that way. All right. Um okay. I guess it's me. Uh, sure. I and yeah, okay. What am I doing? Cool. Now? Will you per? Will you roll me an instinct roll? You got this. Would you like to add any? Do you have any experience? Can, can doing I? Anything you'd can like I to help? Do? Can I give her advantage by um, using? I want to see if there's experience first. Okay. Here. Okay. Okay. Um. Yes, I would love to use survivalist. <laughs> There we go. Hey, I love see, it because that's knew, a thing. So I that that adds person. that adds a plus two, um, and and I believe you you use the hope to do so. I don't remember. I that that is <laughs> unless that's changed, which I don't think it has. That is that uh, is what you need to do to do so. So as long as you have a hope to spare, I I believe you. I have no idea. Yes, I do. I have two. Okay. Um. So okay. And I am using the auto ruler thingy. Oh, why does it not Let's work? Let's go. Demi plane. So you wanted instinct, right? Uh, yes. Instinct. So I add plus two. And it's just a straight roll, correct? Correct. Okay. Straight roll with this added thing to it. That's a 25 with hope. True. So I get a, so I get a hope back, correct? Oh, oh. Okay. Gorgeous. <laughs> yes, you get a hope back, correct? Uh, yeah. So, um, holy cow! I rolled a ten on the fear and a twelve on the hope. So, all right. <laughs> hey, uh, plus three. Um, I yeah, no. To yet after the awkward exchange is going to, um, in her typical fashion, has taken a perch on someone's shoulder. Who wants her today? Uh, at least for now. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
Awesome. It's a tiny rat. It's gonna it's <laughs> gonna um, take Issa rat. off of her off of her um shoulder and put Issa on Kiku's head and then just is going to kind of um they change this, so let me make sure I'm not pulling this incorrectly. Um yeah, she's not going to, like, full-on fly, but it's, like, that quick flutter. Like, I'm not looking to fly-fly. It's yeah. a quick flutter to, like, get up just to kind of get a good view yeah. and then settles back down. Um, so it's kind of like she's mimicking Kiku, but she kind of does it in a way that, like, Kiku has been kind of bounding off and on. Of mm -hmm. It's that kind of, and she times it so that it's off of one of his little hot jaunts that he kind of does. Are you yeah. guys doing this thing or are you doing this thing? <laughs> Is it together or is it like one after? I'll leave that up to to Kiku. She's I just think one after the other, but I think when she initially start when she initially starts, Kiku's like, "See, Isa, sun east," which means I don't know, and it starts bouncing away. <laughs> <laughs> Isa Isa puts her little like wings on the sides of your head and just moves your head to the right direction. Ah, <laughs> we're ready to go. <laughs> yeah, and then nope. settles settles right back down onto Kiku's shoulders. Perfect. You guys feeling really like you like are walking. confident in the way you are headed. Yeah. Just kind You're... of points that way. Perfect. You're able to um, easily traverse through this area, um, uh, seeing spots where um, like big puddles are and whatnot. Uh, there's a temptation there of just wanting to jump in the puddle and a, a party member stopping the small little ribbit, which is a good thing because out of nowhere, this sort of like bubbling happens and a sort of like, um, like clay sort of face comes up, looks at you, watches you guys leave. And goes back down into this uh, this puddle that was there that looks like it's one of those super deceiving, like, this is shallow, but it's not actually shallow. That's um, the most Ghibli thing you've done, Shauna. And you've done yeah. a lot of Ghibli things yeah. in this freaking campaign. Listen, is, is I this might the spirit like of, of the mud puddle? I wanna talk this... I wanna talk to the spirit of the mud puddle. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. Because it was sad that you... okay, okay, you I can. I, yeah, I'm gonna walk you can up. Certainly try. Um, <laughs> does Joe want to talk to the puddle or does Tenzin? Ten Tenzin. Yes. I have oh, okay. the mud puddle, but Tenzin wants to talk to the mud puddle. This is totally what he would do. Um, wants to go up and he's going to bow quite formally, um, and say, "Greetings, oh great spirit." Are you familiar with these woods? Are uh, with the the greater area of these woods? Can you roll me a knowledge check? Can yeah, I, I can. Um, I don't get to use any experience on this. That ha, that's a crit. Two threes. Nice. What Let's the hell? <laughs> I'm really grateful right now because this is a dumb thing. This is to the crit most on. chaotic crit I've ever. Okay, cool. Hey, yeah. it's really um, important it... to Tenzin to talk to this mud spirit. Uh, apparently, <clears throat> apparently, and uh, it just sort of like bubbles at you. Um, you can't understand it in a way like not in a language that you know but you can what you get and what you can comprehend off of this is this this sort of um loneliness and then right behind that just a a wild ferocity this is a very wild creature that you're speaking to all right um but it looks extremely lonely. All right, I'm going to say, Great Spirit, you are of the Earth. Let me introduce you to a piece of Earth 
where I am from. And um, I am going to uh, um, going going to reach into my pocket. And I have just a couple little stones and pebbles, some of them I use for throwing and um, things like that. So I'm just going to grab one that is a, a stone from my mountain and just drop it right in and say, now you can get to know some earth from the mountain. Can you roll me an agility roll? Yeah, I can. I'm really good at those. Um, also, where's my... I have an effect and a feature that can help me with that. Um, all right, so first of all, I am steady. Um, I, have da I have advantage on rolls to traverse dangerous cliffs and ledges, navigate harsh environments, and use survival knowledge. That's one. Okay. I also have uh, leap as a fawn. I can easily leap up to a close range across gaps or chasms without making an agility roll. Okay, that's a change. It used to be move anywhere so I can move back or move forward. So I'm going to say that's a GM call. If I can I wouldn't say you would back. need leap in this okay. situation. So just but steady, steady would be a great So I can go ahead and grab advantage, advantage on that. So I need Yes. So what another... happens with the advantage now is uh, what has been changed? is if you have advantage on something instead of rolling a d6 and adding that you're going to roll two d20s no two d12s sorry that's what i meant you get two the d20s d12s. gm i get the d20s you get to roll two d12s grabbing myself another um and roll those first that's gonna be your hope die whichever one you want to choose out of that okay um, and then there's the additional fear die. You can roll all of these at the same time, just so, but you get to choose which one of these, uh, hope die you get to use. You're gotcha. not summing all three together. Gotcha. All right. Let's see what we got here. But this gives more of, uh, an oh. opportunity for you. Yeah, to. Yeah. I'm going to use my 10 instead of my two. Okay. So that is, um, agility. I get to add agility. Um, that is 15 with hope. 15 with hope. You receive hope back. And with a 15, uh, you're able to sort of drop this, um, this rock, this pebble from where you're from, from the crown of the world. And it's almost like this mud uh, clay person moves up so fast to reach and grab a hold of it and it was just going to grab anything and you were able to move your hand out in time and up and away before it grabbed onto you to pull you in um it sort of takes it down and moves into the puddle for a second and then the bubbles move once more and that clay face comes up with a giant smile um it sort of moves a little bit like it was chewing it and it sort of has these like super happy uh like eyes and this giant smile and begins to move a little bit out towards like it's gonna move out of the puddle but it can't and sort of moves to the side of where that puddle is and looks at you questioningly. I say, I'm thinking with the comprehension role, the knowledge role that you would roll earlier, you would know that it's, it's trying to understand your purpose. It understands the gift you gave, but now it's trying to understand your purpose of why you're here. It is within my nature to give honor to any great spirit that may be nearby. It is a part of tradition, and that god is whom I serve, the god Olam. And so it is tradition where I am from to honor all the spirits. And you, being a spirit, deserve honor. I am walking through your lands. 
I simply wish to give honor to you. If there is any knowledge of this land that it is important that I know, I would wish to receive it. But if I gain nothing from this interaction, I am happy to simply honor the nature that is I am a guest in. And I'm um, going to take just a step back because yeah. I mean, like, ooh, ooh, okay. It's like, <laughs> yep. Kitty's got claws, and I'm still gonna honor you, but I'm gonna just take a little step back. Um, I'm gonna honor you from afar. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, I'm yeah, gonna yeah, take, yeah. take another bow. Um, yeah. This clay person kind of, it, it's hand uh, moves up uh, across onto uh, hardened earth and moves it out and start, starts moving it around. So it looks sort of frantic for a second. And then um, it pulls down into its puddle. And as you kind of move over and look at it, it's sort of drawn you a makeshift map of the water system. So you know where all of these underground uh, tributaries are moving to and you and it's very obvious where that river is is located you guys are fairly close and you notice that there is a spot that um the river sort of narrows just a smidge before moving back out thank you thank you great spirit of the earth uh, be well and i hope you enjoy my gift I hope others will be as kind as as you deserve. And uh, I'm gonna back up and make sure my entire party can see this map. Um, and so we can, you know, go forward. Uh, Kiku's nice. gonna walk up to Tenzin. Tenzin? Yes. Are all puddle spirits? Have I been stepping in the face of spirits my whole life? I do not know. Oh no! Huh? Where? Sorry! And he's gonna just start walking away. <laughs> Where I? Ah, uh, all right. <laughs> As you begin to traverse through this, um, trying not to have an existential crisis for some of you. Uh, <laughs> Wait um, for the GM to kill a bit, Dale. I love it so much. It's so cute. Um. You're able to uh, move forward through the rest of these woods, and it only takes a few hours before you can hear rushing water. Mm -hmm. um, and you know that you are relatively close to the river. Close to the river. Hooray! Huzzah! Um, huzzah! huzzah. Um, as you move closer to the river, you notice that we still have, it's not like we're out of the woods, um, both figuratively and literally here, uh, but you are definitely um, still having some beautiful forest trees around you, but it does seem like there is this narrow spot a ways up where the river kind of gets um, a little, I won't say easier to traverse, but narrower. Um, so there's less water to traverse through. It does look pretty quick and um, it does look fairly deep, but you're kind of looking at like within this area, maybe. Um, Maybe like a very close range, like a 15, 20 feet sort of range uh, at, at its narrowest point. How, how fast is the, wa the, the water moving? How fast? Pretty, pretty fast, mm. pretty fast in places. Um, you do see that there are spots, there are like, um, rocks and things that are sort of breaking up a little bit of that uh water current in places but it's not it's not a slow easy going river here 
and there's no no convenient watercraft nearby is there um why don't you make me a mm, mm. why don't you make me an instinct roll sure let's go you scratch you got the this big old, uh, fixed up boat just sitting right there on the shore yeah there's... totally <laughs> totally we're just missing the rowboat that's hidden in the bushes thing. yeah Man, if there was a convenient boat just sitting there, I would just not trust then, it. Right? Just mm. then, a galleon comes in. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're saved! <laughs> uh, that is going to be a uh, an 18 with fear. 18 but, fear. as a seaborn, mm -hmm. um... When you roll with fear, put a token on this card. Before you make an action roll, you can spend more of these tokens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Very nice. Okay. Um. And definitely... that was uh, uh, that was just rolled on the dice. What was the the thing 18. I need? What, was this... what was I adding to it? Eighteen um, was on you're... the dice. Yeah, I see. Got you. Um, an instinct roll. Instinct. Eighteen. Never mind. <laughs> That's my favorite thing. That is so my favorite thing. Excuse me, excuse me. I haven't added my modifiers yet. My modifier is zero. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so great. 18 is still great, though. Um, as you're moving through here with an 18, um, you find there there's no there's no sort of boat or anything through this area. However, you do find find some um, fairly narrow but long enough uh, branches that you're like yeah we could we could throw over this is relatively long enough we could throw over this branch and maybe be able to like walk through that and as you toss to get uh, over the bank over the side mm -hmm. of the bank it doesn't quite go there and you feel the rush of the water just take this thing out of your hand. <laughs> it is so quick. Never mind y'all and I can't swim. <clears throat> um, anyone nearby would see Tenzin has kind of frozen a little bit. Um, and has gone a little paler than 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 he his uh, slightly tan skin would um, normally be. Uh, Tenzin, you're not much of a swimmer. I have never seen such a large amount of water move so fast. Scratch, are you? All... You see how fast that thing was ripped out of his hands. Uh, no, don't worry about it. it Cross way fiercer than this back in the day. Uh, it is fiercer and I'm gonna, than this. I'm gonna march up to the <laughs> edge of the <laughs> river, um, and see if there's just any kind of like drift wood, anything I could fashion a small raft out of, maybe that could survive the beating of this. I don't know. Okay, can you give me a knowledge roll? Like Aurorik, just uh just thought I'd let you know what was a bit fast. Gosh. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a 13 with fear. Cool. Travis, okay, Travis, <laughs> hearing you say, do say the most, like, whatever. Just, oh, wow. Okay, that, that <laughs> took me out for fear? a second. Thir 13? 13. 13. Okay, cool. Um, you notice that there is a a bigger um, log, but it's on the opposite side of this. Oh, and great! You're <clears throat> it, it's that's your best bet. It's just fifteen feet away. All right, hear me out. Crazy idea, folks. Let's let's talk about this. I've got my axe. I'm gonna throw it. 
and it's gonna stick in that log over there. And then I'm gonna recall the ax back to me using my divine strength. And that's gonna pull the big log to us. What do we think? Uh, has it ever pulled anything with it when you recall it? Or does it just appear in your hand? Uh, it, attached it, like, to it anything? I don't it think- It flew with you on it for a little bit. Oh yeah, I think that's I could right. convince it. Wait a minute. I'm not going to share the idea with the rest of the party, but I'm going to post up and wait for him to launch it and try and catch a ride. Oh, hmm. God. Okay. <clears throat> Tuyet, did you have uh, something? Or are you watching this? I happen? said I did not share that idea with the rest I'm of the party. Uh, no, I had I my hand up before. There was a hand yeah, up, though. she so did. I want to... Nope. No. Nah. Sure. Okay. Let's see if this works. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll go ahead and follow that lead, then. Uh, oh, Kiku of being amphibious was like, uh, are we not just gonna swim? I can take a row up. Alright, uh, uh, row. <laughs> <laughs> Tuyet just, just so pats him on the head and yeah. leans down and Rope. goes, Kiku, Tuyet, and Tenzin are all like, we have a rope. <laughs> it's, it could, okay. You also uh, have as I have the rope out, I'm just like, and a swimmer. just oh. like, Rurik, the rope back. You can also tie Rurik, the rope to I the totally back need a strength roll from sure. you, please. Let's do this. I have utter faith in you. Oh, a six with fear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> scratch. I will take that fear. Thank you. Um, scratch. Shit. Can you roll me an agi an agility roll He's with great. disadvantage? Well, here here's here's no. my question though. This was an intrusive thought uh -huh. that popped in his head. He s did not say it to the rest of the party. Seeing how the throw is going, uh -huh. would that inform him enough to not let the intrusive thought win? Oh God! Because remember, your boy can't swim. You did say you wanted to hitch a ride. That was the intrusive thought. <laughs> I believe the exact, exact, the exact phrase was catch a ride. <laughs> catch a ride. That sounds like an instinct roll to me. <laughs> sure. We'll make an instinct roll with disadvantage then. <laughs> catch a ride. So this is now you um, rolling with... Uh, how do they do it now? It's... It's your D12s. Two, two, mm -hmm. two, two hopes, you automatically take the lower score. There's no... Yes, you use the pick. that's it's it. Automatically Thank lower. you. Well, that was a one for the hope. Okay. And a 12 for the fear. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> 13 with fear! Catch a rat. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome! Thank you. Uh, also, thank you, I will take another fear. I love for it. my seaborn token. Oh, very cool. All right, so <laughs> with this said, Rurik, <laughs> as the rest of your party on looks as you come up with a failsafe plan. Failsafe. Couldn't um, go wrong. Your <clears throat> your axe has never given you any sort of problems before you chuck this thing as it moves past you notice as soon as it leaves your hand you're like i don't know if that's gonna hit the log i really don't think that's gonna hit the log i'll probably have to try this again and out of nowhere just <laughs> through the screen we see uh, yeah. coming into yeah. the shot scratch grabbing a hold of this thing you start Flinging yourself around like a cat holding on to a fan, <laughs> and you're just going like this and careening oh, over past this oh, uh, this oh, part no. of the river. As you begin to move past this part of the river, something it's out moves. of my hands now. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> it, uh, something moves in the water and begins to move up to reach you. Can, can I, I feel like everybody to move to roll 20? No! No! Can I feel oh, like no. I want you to move to roll 20. Can I feel like to move to roll 20? Please? 
Also, also, thank you for uh, stopping me from going in the water. So, uh, thank you. <laughs> you know, it's okay. I'll I'll be the fish. Food. All right, it's friends. Fine. It's it's only as karmic. we move over to roll twenty. I think I have you there. You should be seeing a river, right? I see a river. You see, I a, see river. a river. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't have an axe token. Sorry, friends. Um, something I need to make. In my copious amounts of time. Um, 20 is bot checking me. <laughs> checking I'm solving you. captures right now. Uh, um, I'm going to say that our our lovely friend here um, <laughs> yeah! is, is so <laughs> starting to move through the air over the uh, river here as something is beginning to meet it. Um uh, I will allow the rest of you guys within, we'll say like 10, 15 feet from where you are now. I'll go ahead and move where you think you would have been to begin Technically, with. Technically, Tuet was with uh, Kiku, so. Yeah, you guys can move together however okay. you would like. Probably about, yeah. Probably. That's fair. Yeah. Oh. Be... Am I able to put yeah. myself right up on the shore? Uh, Is that okay? I'll put us to the side so we can both see our characters. Yep. Um yeah, that's good. Okay. That's perfect. Um uh -oh. I am so happy about this. Um thank you for this. Uh so as we uh see something move a shadow move within the water it is going against the stream and it is coming up seeing a shadow move across the way uh uh an axe uh riding cat <laughs> shadow moves just... across the way oh my god you just hear scratch going danger close <laughs> <laughs> up from the water oh, um, crests a fairly big form it what you see first is a maw it is teeth that come up and uh begin to open then uh the sort of angular head and a little bit of a fin coming off of it uh, as coming out of this water. And don't let this, um, don't let this art deceive you, okay? Don't let this art deceive you. It's the cutest crocodile we've ever seen. It's an alligator. It's I an mean, alligator. I mean. That is <laughs> coming up out of the water. Shauna. Oh um, my goodness. Really adorable, though. <laughs> Why is it land before time? It's <laughs> totally land before You're right. time. You're right. You're right. You're right. Tree stop. Oh my oh. god. So, the little it's gonna foot. Take, it's going to take an action. No, I'm not. No. It gets to go first. I'm going to just spend oh, that fear no. right now to try and uh, snippy snap at our friend here. No snicker snack. I'm good. Thanks. Oh, oh, come Man. on. Uh, eleven? No! <laughs> oh, oh Not man, you are so flippin' lucky right now. Um, this thing misses you, and, like, your tail moves out of the way as the centrifugal force, as you're starting to move through the air. Uh, my tail is out almost of the as way poofy of as the rest of my body. Like, in mass, it is the same width as the rest of me. I love it. Amazing. You pull, uh, you, like, move your tail in. It it begins to move you a little faster, like, spinning faster in the air. <laughs> but you've moved your tail out of the way of this alligator. Um, yeah. What's the plan? Can you say its name one more time? Is that an eel alligator? It is an eel alligator. Okay. An eel alligator. I thought yes. you were just pronouncing it like a weirdo for a second, but then I 
re I've probably been pronouncing a lot of things kind of like a weirdo, like glow flies and bumble hums and things like that. But okay, so um, yeah, all the creatures are giving me like Avatar: The Last Airbender vibes, or it's like combinations of two different animals, and I'm kind of living for it. Is that a you thing or a dagger heart thing, Shauna? That's a, a dagger heart thing, actually. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, the adversaries, other than. Um, some of the corruption things that have been added to the adversaries on my part, um, the adversaries are, are dagger hearts. Okay. Um, hmm. As we fly we as a bit now here, have to find a regular animal. As a bit now we have to find one. We have Just to. a normal looking Impossible, deer. Impossible, never gonna happen. <laughs> Just a it. basic ass fox. As we hear, um, uh, <laughs> as we hear scratch screaming ah! through the air uh what's the plan friends uh the minute that whole thing started before the creature popped up Tuyet was already starting to take off to go after our flying what? cat now <laughs> um, so uh what i am going to go ahead and do is i will take that stress so that i am flying um and then uh i would like to because I keep forgetting to use this, spend a hope to apply Ranger's Focus on the creature. Oh, wait, I Very think nice. I have to hit it. No, I have to make an attack with, with my weapon to do that. Uh, does it look like uh, Scratch is going to make it, like, over the water, or is Scratch going to It's hard. In? It, it, the trajectory looks way off now. And uh, the, the likelihood of getting across this is dwindling. Okay. This is probably not going to end well, but we're going to give it a try. <laughs> I'm not very strong, guys. Um, I am going to go towards just, you know, zooming towards Scratch. And my hope is to try and, like, if I can, hit him in his room to push him yes. back to our side of the shore. <laughs> okay, interesting. I'm, assu I'm assuming he's closer to our side than he is to the other side. He is, he is closer to your side, but the, um, the force is moving the opposite way. So I will say, um, this uh, is okay. probably going to be a strength roll on your part to do so. You got How far across, like, is the river? Because I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to think, could she shove him and get him across? Or is it just better to try and get him to launch himself back towards us? He's definitely closer to to you guys, but you will be moving against it, so your DC is going to be harder than if you were to move with it. But who knows if that will go, push him. Go with it. I have an idea just in case. Cool. I like it. Okay. okay going to go with it. Uh, then, yeah. Okay. Seeing that, that I ain't strong, guys. <laughs> I'm a fairy. Uh, gonna go ahead and <laughs> zooming all, like, all her speed, all her strength, everything is just, like, full-on shove, and we'll let herself go flying backwards to, you know, acrobatic little spin to try and get as much of that force as, um, he, he can get, she can get in against him to get him closer. I love that. Okay, yeah. let's, let's, uh, let's roll a strength check, please. Can I ask to it. use rebelliously positive because she just thinks this is gonna work? <laughs> you uh, okay? Yeah, I'll I'll take it. I love okay, it. Why I not? Love it. It goes against her normal abilities. So let's yeah. Go for it. Uh, cool. Then this that, is definitely least... trying to be optimistic in the face of guys that at yeah. least gets rid of the negative one. Just throwing that out there. Uh, hang on, hang on, and just yeah, goes. <laughs> 14 fear. Woo! 14 fear. Woo! All right. All right. Lots and lots of fear. That could be um, so worse, guys. You're able to push, uh, you're able to push a scratch more. And you, as you, uh, you can move closer, by the way, since you did this. You're able to move scratch more. And while you do, you do realize that it is going, it's still going over uh, said alligator, but yeah. it's definitely moving him faster in that direction. Um, I'm going to, with your fear happening, oh, of course, gonna sorry. take myself uh, an action as well to try and eat a cat. 
No. Please and thank you. Meow. I disagree Meow. with this. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna spend a fear to to roll this with advantage. Alright. Yes. Can Issa have stayed with Scratch to help try and offset that advantage? No. <laughs> um the uh, thirteen? Thirteen will hit. Yes. Okay. Oh, wait. Do I have something? Dun, 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 dun. I need my damage dice. Come on, damage dice. There they are. And I will be making... Okay. Cool. Excellent. Um, That's going to be uh, 13 points of damage. Physical damage. 13. It's just major, so it's just two. You can, um, if you're, if you want to use your armor to make that it, it, less. It won't make it less enough. Like, I'll have to spend quite a few armor slots to make it okay. less enough to not have to spend two. Okay. It's too close to my severe range. It's where you want to go. So you've given it, um, this. And as this hits into you, I'm going to mark a stress for it. And uh, the creature's jaw is going to lock onto you. It's going to deal an additional hit point to you. And you are now That restrained. would be a stress. Or no, no, that's not a stress. It's just a hit point. Fuck. Just a hit point. Yeah. Um. Uh, that's <coughs> on you guys. All right, cool. Um, I was going to get my bow out and attack this creature because I do not like water that moves like this. But a creature, be they a spirit or no, if they are attacking a friend, they go down. And I'm go about to go for my bow until I see the jaws clamp around my new friend. And I put the bow down. I take one flash moment in my brain where I know there is no time for fear. I must act. Steady as the mountain, strong as the stone. And I'm going to spend a hope to use my experience Zen amongst chaos to not totally yeah. freak out as I run over to the bank and without thinking about what's going on um jump up using my ridgeborn agility and jump straight onto this guy um and take my sword and try and stab it um like through the brain Woo! Oh, i may okay. miss the brain i may just hit something else depending on the damage i roll but yeah okay uh-huh uh um, can you, can you roll agility roll to, for you getting there, um, and jumping up onto this? I, you can use the Zen, um, Zen Amongst Chaos if you I like also have this. the, the Ridgeborn, um, no, not the Ridgeborn, the, the Fawn, the Fawn Ancestry Leap. You can easily you leap go. up to a close range across gaps or chasms without making an agility roll. Um, let's make it, Yeah. If you don't have to make the agility roll because of it, because that's of, great. Because I'm a fawn. Um, yeah. So go ahead and um, roll your attack. You're going to be adding your zen. Cool. So uh, I'm adding chaos. my hope. So I get a plus one for that. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Let's do it. All right. You go away. You were this is an action to do so, and I know you're doing a lot of stuff, so I'm just going to move your action token onto. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I moved my guy, but not my action token. I appreciate that. You're... Um, okay, so that is there's a lot going on. Oh. Seven, eight, nine. Ooh, nine. Nine does... to hit? Nine to hit. Does nine hit? No. Yeah, okay. You hit down and it sh off of like a scale that this thing has. It's, it's it. hide is thicker. All right, cool. So I am going to like just, um, tuck my knees in, uh, like squeeze my knees into the body um, because I my hooves are not going to be good for like 
clinging. I can't like I don't have claws to cling to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, um, I'm gonna stay right there. Cling with my legs and stay Love on it. top of this thing. Sounds good. Cool. Uh, seeing Tenjin uh, jump into action. Yeah. Kiku's like, <gasps> and I'm gonna run and I'm gonna jump just onto the tree. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. And then I'm gonna just, uh, with, because remind me, ranges. What is my tool stack? For range? Far range. If I get up to the tree. If you're in the tree. In the dust tree. In the dust tree. Um, dust your range. Tree. Far, far is like from uh, thirty feet to a hundred feet away. Okay, cool. So with my staff, I can totally just wham do that attack roll. 100%. Uh, sweet, that is what I would like to do. That is an instinct roll. No advantage, plus one from it. Let's roll. So some dice. what you smacking with? Uh, my dual staff, which lets me essentially uh, shoot with some magic. <laughs> That's a ten with fear. A ten oh, no. fear. Ooh. That is a. I'll take, take that. Your token. I'll take, take that your seaborn token. token. But uh, I'll, I'll put that 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 tractor. Does that token fear there. go to me as well? Do you know? Uh, the it well, doesn't you... say anything against it going to the deep. No, no, no. You get a fear, but also we get a fear. Sure. Like it, it's it's kind of a like, we both get one. We get to share it. Let's do it. I love that. I don't. <laughs> I love that so much. <laughs> So it's more of a like, yeah, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, in that case, um, our alligator. Uh, I have yet to go. Or is he this a, a so ah, technically this is a, this is a GM move here. Um, How dare you? <laughs> this is why I keep asking if you guys roll with fear, because then I get to go. And that makes me so excited. Um, cool. So, I'm going to attack you. I'm going to attack. Who am I going to attack? You're in my mouth. Yes, I am. Yeah. Yeah. Hurry up and eat me. Don't forget to write. Chomp, chomp. I love this. You I are... don't. <laughs> I don't. Um. Okay. Yes. I'm going to spend a fear to try and attack what is in my mouth to make sure I can keep a hold of you, basically. Um. Ooh. Uh, 13? 13 does, does hit you, right? Yes, it does. All right, then. You're going to take an additional. Damage, damage. As we were. Just two? Um. Or how much? You're taking... Uh, seven. Okay. Seven points. Gross. Um, uh, one of the things that has been said um, in the new s system is if it's below your minor, then you you don't take stress or anything from that. Well, one hit point is my one is my minor. Is so minor. yeah. So no matter what, I take one hit point. Unless you let the armor take all of it yeah um so it's seven yeah we're at two, seven four six i'm gonna spend four and take a stress Ooh, okay i, I have two hit this. points left <gasps> all right okay um with this uh the reason i spent the fear is because Sean. you being restrained, uh, we're now going to move all of our friends here down the river. And no! um, I would like 
an agility roll from Tenzin, please. I have an idea, guys. I have an idea. It may not work, but I'm, I've am i got an idea. I also have an idea. I'm going to let my friends who haven't gone yet go first. Same. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I do not have an idea, so please someone figure something out. <laughs> okay, I've got seven. a question. Yes. Is the axe still on our cat, or is the axe gone? This is a good question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think can, we talk, got... can we talk physics for a second? Because if he was riding the axe and whoop happened, that axe yeah. would be with him, right? It depends on the force it, of the angular motion yeah. and what is conserved when it is bit. Just saying. Um, uh, let's... If if anything, if he was still holding on to the axe and it was still spinning, technically his body would have moved through the jaw and done more damage. Just saying. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say, hey Matt, I only want you to bring science into this, this is... if it's gonna be to our advantage. So. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Sit down and say good luck. Look it, look it, Shauna, Shauna does not let me bring science into games, so when she lets me, I do it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm this sorry. is a, this is this is Studio Ghibli esque friends, okay? And it's gonna get a little real here in like 3.5 seconds. And I think it's only gonna so far. Rick, um. I want you, since this is your axe, Rory, mm. I want you to just roll me a uh, 220. It's going to be relatively small DC. However, I want to see over fear. Okay, and that's so going to help us. And just let you that's know what, what I mean. Yes, yeah, sorry. I keep saying D20. I mean D20. I know what you mean. Old habits die hard. Mm. It's also because Shauna gets to roll D20s as the GM. Right. Okay, that's a six on the hope dice and a four on the fear dice for a total of ten. Okay. You're set. So it it left when when uh, Scratch got chomped. <laughs> Scratch let go. And so not only that, but it is like in a kind of trajectory right now to be in the air. You could call it back if you wanted to. However... Before we get to that, Tenzin, what did you roll on your agility? I rolled two seven, so I crit. Yeah. Okay. Um, because then, I crit, I may mm -hmm. I do something cool. Well, you're gonna want to know this information first. Understood. I need to know that with a crit, do you want you feel this alligator? have a nice strong hold on your friend here mm -hmm. and you feel its head beginning to duck it wants to go in the water mm -hmm. are you with a crit staying on this thing or are you with the crit getting the hay out of heat what i would like to do with my crit if i may is i'm going to use this motion this momentum to swing around on its head and um I want to grab it by the nostrils and swing my legs down and kick it right here in the soft part of its throat and hope that that makes it go <clears throat> and open its jaws and release my friend. At the same time, because this only I only get my sneak attack if I'm hidden or if somebody else is in melee, Tenzin is in melee, at the same time, I would like to take my daggers and just stab into do, its face. Do do I do I hear to a attack team? team? Uh, come attack on! Team. Attack Does anyone team. have three hope? Go, 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 calm, do you have One. three hope to be able to do it? I have three. Let I go. Do not. So yeah, we can tag team this. So it would be scratch. Scratch if, initiating. And scratch gets. Um, does would scratch still get sneak attack? And would I still get my kick? Because I get a 2d6 you would. Uh, damage roll. You would, but okay. you've got to hit first. But we've got to hit first. Okay. okay. Um, and I'm going to orange... tell you right now that if if this hit doesn't go through, you're both going under. Understood. Question. The Lords Question. of RNG, please be with us right now. Question. Yes. Issa has not gone yet. True. Could Issa utilize the um what you tell me because we were still figuring out one of her experiences right yes i protect what's mine 
Oh, okay. I love and that. I would like it if she could assist both of them uh, through the experience stuff. Um, and I'll spend my only hope to give them because I have one hope left. Uh, okay. To uh, sorry, sorry guys, this is totally new because they changed all the companion yeah, stuff. Yeah, no, and, yes, totally yes, not. you're good. Um, Your stuff. Who dis? I want her to open fly. Beta? I want her to fly in and basically flare mm -hmm. that same what she used before to help kind of soothe and heal to yet and what she's did actually earlier in a, I think the first game on somebody else of just the comfort, but instead now it is a flare, and uh, cool. make um. Actually, that's a question. Uh, it's not really a... I mean, it could be an attack if you want to take it that way. But it's this flare to kind of distract the creature. And again, there's that smoke and that fire and everything to make the... the You know, try and give them a little help. Okay. Um, okay. Trying to protect them. So... Yes. Uh, how does this work? Uh, add an applicable companion experience to the role. Okay, so here's what here's what I can say. Yeah. You um for Isa. Yes. Can she roll me? Hmm. I don't know. Can she roll me an agility roll? I don't know what her agility is. I don't we can stats. go off of yours. We can go off of your stats here. Okay. Agility roll. Okay. And if this succeeds, it will, the flash will make it vulnerable. It'll make it blind for like a hot second. Ooh. Cool. Which will give advantage to one of these two uh, two players within this tag team. Cool, cool, okay. cool, 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 cool. I love that. That's an 11 on the hope dice. Okay. Take a hope. Um, 11... Did I have to enough. spend a hope to? Because I normally would have to spend a hope, or because yeah. I, you're getting... I'm kind of fudging things here because it's like she could have an attack, sure. but she's not. So right. how sure. do you want? How do you want me? Do I? I want you to take? spend that hope, but you're getting it right back right now. Cool. Okay. Um, as Isa comes in and flares at the eyes here, are you giving this advantage, this vulnerability moment, to Scratch or to Tenzin? Uh. I'm sorry, Scratch. What gets you? What does sneak attack do for you? Uh, so sneak attack gives me. Um, I can't spend additional hope because I spent it all to be able to do this. Mm -hmm. Um, but I get an extra uh, D6 damage to my roll. Okay, but Tenzin is trying to get this the spit out. Uh, yeah. So with with kick, if if I have a successful melee attack, then I can mark a stress to kick myself off the target, adding 2d6 to the damage and pushing either them or yourself out of melee range. And if possible, I would love to instead try and push Scratch out of melee range. So it's you and you or them or you and them, like, it, like that? Either or myself or, or them or the, uh, or the, or villain, the adversary, the adversary yeah. out okay. of melee range. I just want to, push uh, I mean push theoretically you both so could get pushed out, out of the of range it. yeah because you're gonna go flying no matter what probably we might so. go flying onto the bank we might go flying into the water but anything is better than in the maw of this creature when yeah. scratch has two hit points left sure uh and yeah seeing seeing go ahead sorry no I, I, as a role for sort of a tag team you're both gonna roll but only one attack roll matters yes yeah. one of you has to hit so whoever has the better modifier or better chance to actually hit this should take that modifier. Just should take the yeah. so, advantage. Who's um, got it? So um, I have a plus two, but I was going to spend my Seaborn uh, adversity tokens to get an additional plus two, so it's a plus four to my roll. Okay. Okay. Um, I only have a plus one. Um, okay. So you should take it as long as I can still apply my kick to the, the yeah. damage that's done. The, yeah, the you'll, thing you'll be able to do it if you okay. if you actually hit. Cool. Which is if you guys written. succeed, then both of your things go off. Yes. Cool. Yes. Cool. And you so, yeah. scratch. So, scratch. As scratch. Issa 
flashes and flares for a second, Scratch, you see the opening, yelling to Tenzin, who is swinging around, grabbing a hold and getting ready to kick and move you guys out. We're going to make this tag team roll after our oh, game. Oh, oh, no. oh, come on! <laughs> my my dice sorry, for the entire game. I've to roll dice for an hour! Oh, I know, oh. I know it. All right, friends. Geeks, come on back. We're going to take just a few minutes. Uh, grab something, grab a snack, grab something to drink, whatever you'd like. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll see you back here really, really soon. Greetings! My name's Rurik, and I come from a dangerous and ancient line of dwarves, sworn to order and control. As a seraph, I've taken a vow to a god that helps me channel sacred arcane power to keep my party on their feet. I may not know where fate will guide me now, but by the time the earth takes me, they'll be singing my story across the world. Hello, hello, hello. The name's Scratch. I'm a swashbuckling seaborn Katari with a devil may care attitude. As a rogue, I've experience with sidestepping the law, dealing with the underbelly of a city, preferring to move quickly and fight quietly. Which, if you aren't careful, can get you in a load of trouble, banished from your home and left to wander the seas. But where's life without a little bit of risk? I'm Tuyet Frostmart, a wildborn fairy ranger. As a ranger, my keen eyes and graceful haste make me indispensable 
in tracking down enemies and navigating the wilds with my companion, a phoenix named Isa. My rebelliously positive attitude may seem naive or innocent at times, but it is founded in the knowledge that sorrow is inevitable, but joy is worth the choice. Hi, I'm Kiku, a seaborne ribbit. As a newly discovered sorcerer, I'm formed and shaped by the will of the arcane and learning how to wield that power to get what I want. Not sure what that is yet, but my first teacher set me on a path of understanding. Now, with my love of the stars, I set out to discover what this world has to offer, and I hope it's a lot. Hi, the name's Radani, aka Rain. I'm a daemon wanderborn. As a druid, I am a force of nature, preserving the balance of life and death by channeling the wilds themselves through me. I will act as nature's voice and be their steward right after this nap. I am Tenzin, a fawn from the tall snowy peaks at the crown of the world. As a warrior, I run into battle without hesitation or caution, knowing I can strike down whatever enemy may stand in my path. I have been trained to keep focused even amidst the most chaotic of storms, and I have personally sworn to protect the innocent, ensuring that what happened to my son will never again happen to any child on my watch.
Greetings. My name's Rurik, and I come from a dangerous and ancient line of dwarves, sworn to order and control. As a seraph, I've taken a vow to a god that helps me channel sacred arcane power to keep my party on their feet. I may not know where fate will guide me now, but by the time the earth takes me, they'll be singing my story across the world. Hello, hello, hello. The name's Scratch. I'm a swashbuckling seaborn Katari with a devil may care attitude. As a rogue, I've experience with sidestepping the law, dealing with the underbelly of a city, preferring to move quickly and fight quietly. Which, if you aren't careful, can get you in a load of trouble, banished from your home and left to wander the seas. But where's life without a little bit of risk? I'm Juliet Frostmart, a wild-born fairy ranger. As a ranger, my keen eyes and graceful haste make me indispensable in tracking down enemies and navigating the wilds with my companion, a phoenix named Isa. My rebelliously positive attitude may seem naive or innocent at times, but it is founded in the knowledge that sorrow is inevitable, but joy is worth the choice. Hi, I'm Kiku, a seaborn ribbit. As a newly discovered sorcerer, I'm formed and shaped by the will of the arcane and learning how to wield that power to get what I want. Not sure what that is yet, but my first teacher set me on a path of understanding. Now, with my loved stars, I set out to discover what this world has to offer, and I hope it's a lot. Hi, the name's Radani, AKA Rain. I'm a daemon wanderborn. As a druid, I am a force of nature, preserving the balance of life and death by channeling the wilds themselves through me. I will act as nature's voice and be their steward right after this nap. I am Tenzin, a fawn from the tall snowy peaks at the crown of the world. As a warrior, I run into battle without hesitation or caution knowing I can strike down whatever enemy may stand in my path. I have been trained to keep focused even amidst the most chaotic of storms, and I have personally sworn to protect the innocent, ensuring that what happened to my son will never again happen to any child on my watch.
what is up geeks so good to have you back uh man where we last left off we were in the midst of a tag team situation and i'm gonna i'm gonna spell out the stakes real quick so that people understand okay? <laughs> <laughs> scratch is in you, the mouth of youtube yes. is doing the green screen thing again oh okay dang of course can Sorry, you guys. record from here i've been recording the whole time perfect then we'll make sure that that is up i don't know why it it was and so we, good and then we, we fixed knows? it too it was working before right and now it's green screening again yeah yep all right so friends if you're watching over on youtube hop you on over, over to twitch. twitch everything works on twitch that that's what we've noticed recently so there you are all right now let me spell out the stakes now that the logistics are out of the way um this alligator has its giant jaws around scratch who is restrained it is beginning to move as it is going to go underwater right now uh tenzin who is holding on for dear life on top of this thing is tag teaming with scratch to once uh isa our uh companion um phoenix flares and distracts it Tenzin's going to swing around, try and kick it in the mouth or in its throat. And Scratch is going to break across, like stick in the side of this jaw and just pull. If everything goes perfect, I'll be able to be let go and still hang on with my daggers. If everything mm. goes perfectly perfect. Mm. I'm also hope. going to state something to you. Yeah. As of right now, this alligator has taken no damage. Uh huh. And You've Scratch tried has to two hit, hit points it left twice. Yeah. I never Scratch said the man was smart. Left. I never Get said the, the man was smart. Get the heck out of dodge, dude. <laughs> so, I just want to make sure that everybody understands what what's going to happen here. Um, so has I would like our plus tag four. team. Yes, okay. I would like our tag team to be able to roll. Scratch, you're doing this with advantage, and you're adding all of your bonuses. Tenzin, you're doing this straight roll, but with all of your bonuses. Yes. Whichever one of you has the better roll, mm -hmm. whichever roll you want to go with, uh, is is the one we'll go with. Okay. But if it succeeds then you both get to roll damage. Okay. Yes? Okay. okay. We got this, buddy. Um, again, Scratch, you're rolling uh, two hope, deciding which one you want with the fear. Mm -hmm. um, roll these so you know which ones were the hope, and then roll this one. Because you never know, you might want the lower roll if it actually makes a crit. Yeah. Mm. Okay. That was a fucking journey. Okay, not a crit, all fucking terrible. <laughs> so, a total of five with hope on the dice, plus four is nine. Okay, okay. All right, I got a 17 with hope. Okay, <laughs> which one do you guys want to go with? The 17, please. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, good. Because 17 hits. Thank God. So you're God. set there. Um, that means Tenzin. Yeah. You are rolling, um, adding your damage uh, along with this. Uh huh. Scratch, you're rolling your damage and your sneak attack damage. And I'm going to pool all of this damage together. Yeah, so I, I get my damage and my kick. Um, yes. I'm gonna tell you right now. It's gotta reach its major damage threshold in order to Patui scratch out. Even with my kick? Yes, because that's a part of the mechanic. Okay. But you're tag teaming this, so... That is true. That is true. <gasps> that's good. 
Okay. Ooh, that's really good. That's really, really good. Mm. I got 11 on my longsword. Okay. 16 total. I get... Okay. I need... I get to roll 2d6 for my kick. That one's cocked. <gasps> nice. Okay, so... I said what? You um, said 11. I said 11. Um plus nine more, so 20. 20 total for me. 36. 20 plus 16? 36. 36. 36 total. Not only do you guys uh, reach the major threshold, you reach the severe threshold. Hey! Yes! yes. Very nice. So you have done those three hit points of damage. This massive hit looks like it rocks it quite a bit. It's oh. not I will say it's not quite bloodied. However Scratch, it does open its jaws just enough for you to be able to move out. Um, ah. you have the daggers on the side uh, Tenzin, you've kicked this thing. Are you moving? Because remember, you're, you mm -hmm. either get to move or it gets to move. So I, what's the I, choice? I was hoping I could move Scratch away instead, but if, if he's doing another thing, it's got to be you, then, okay, or the or the adversary. Um, I think it's gonna logistically be harder to move the adversary because he's huge and he's in the water. So as much as I want to say I'd like to move the adversary away, um, I'm gonna be realistic and say I move away. Okay. So I'm like now the question is projectiling myself off of this creature and I don't know how to swim. Never seen water like this before. Where are you trying to kick to? Are you trying to move to the I, opposite side of the bank? To, to be where... honest, I was not concerned with the direction I was kicking for the sake of moving myself oh, in a uh, direction. I cool. was concerned with getting the right spot in his throat to release my friend. So probably okay. straight back. Well, can I get can I get a knowledge roll from you? Yeah, I'll take that. And we'll see if this. Uh, uh sixteen with fear. Okay. Sixteen this with is fear. Scary. <laughs> I think I think you've pushed off and you're in the air mm -hmm. when you realize. You, you gotta kind of lean one way or the other. So I think you've given yourself enough time to kind of. I wanna start lean to, to the move right one towards way that other. tree. I wanna lean this way. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you wanna go to the opposite bank. Uh huh. Okay. Um, I think I'll have you, a better chance of like grabbing a branch or something. Sure. As you kick off you did roll this with fear so therefore i did i'm gonna go and i'm gonna try and nom nom you okay okay chomp does an eight do it oh uh, no the you hear the teeth snap behind you as <laughs> your feet make it to the bank you just <gasps> moved to I get to the bank there. oh my god now, Scratch. I need to get the <laughs> fuck out of Dodge. Can uh, I get an agility roll from you, please? Uh, he says just pulling on Scratch's kid. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> flying uh, so hard. <laughs> uh, feline instincts. Before you make an agility roll, you can spend a number of hope, adding plus one to the roll result for each hope you spend. I only have one because I just got it back. Yeah. So I'm gonna add add plus one. You gotta use it. Uh, okay. yeah. Okay. I will say. Um, something that I didn't uh, give to you. When you ha have been released, because of this moment that has happened, you do need to mark a stress. Well, so stressed I drop to die. <laughs> Story of my life. 
where'd you go? Somewhere. I'll find you later. Thank God you're not a D4. But you are a metal dice. You so that's gonna that. suck for me. Ooh. Make me that agility roll. All right. It's with hope. Yes. Oh, so 19, 20, 21. Amazing. Um, you, see in, see in the moment, are able to move and use this agility. You're out of the, the mouth of this alligator. Where are you going? Uh, to, towards the tree. Yeah. Towards towards the thing that looks like a mast. I, I love it. You move thing. across. Yeah. yeah, you move across and just kind of race down the body of this creature and jump up to grab a hold of a branch. You okay, buddy? No. Oh. I'm bleeding a lot. It hurts. As the both of them have jumped and left from the monster, I'm just gonna send my axe careening down into this thing. Back into there the water! Go. Let's go, Rurik! Back into the water! I love it. Go ahead and roll me in a sec. Alright, 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 alright. Uh, a 21 with fear. That is definitely gonna hit. Nice. Uh, but now it's gonna try and attack one of us. <laughs> have 10 points of damage. Yeah, Ten. take it. Okay. Ten points of damage is a minor. But it is looking bloodied. Nice. nice. With this attack. Um, it sort of knocks down into the water a little bit and like moves back up with it. You see it's sort of like it's fighting against the current to stay where it's oh, hey. nice. um it ha is sort of like uh beginning to move and locks on to let's find out you're in a tree you're in a tree i would like to take a stress and uh hide in that tree please nice <laughs> <Okay>. very <laughs> okay. nice yes good I love that. Um, uh, to yet, were you in a tree? She's flying. She is flying. That's what I thought. Yes. Okay. It don't like the fact that you did that. Fair. <laughs> and it's gonna try and nom nom the dwarf. It can try. It can, it can fail. It can, it can try. It can try. And you know, I know what your uh, your score looks like there. It's but not I, hard to hit me, but no, still. No, it isn't. So I think a 12 will do it. Yeah, that will do it. Okay, okay. Then you're going to take... Kapow. <laughs> Whoa! Um, you're going to take 20 points of physical damage. I maxed. 20 is going to become 11. I'm going to spend an armor slot on okay, that to okay. take a major wound, not a severe one. Jesus. Okay. Yeah. What's your severe Jesus. threshold, my guy? 16. Nice. Um, all right. Uh, that means... Okay, be right back. I'm that, gonna use the bathroom. Okay, back. Yeah, that is the DM uh, move. So the rest of you, go ahead. Okay. Mm hmm. Um, well, now that everybody's out of his mouth, <laughs> she's uh, gonna go ahead and uh, Twit's going to uh, attack it with her bow. Um, and it's going to apply Ranger's Focus, because I always forget to do that. So, I can get them also. So, I know precisely the direction they are in. All damage rolls you make against them also deal a stress. 
And when nice. you miss with an attack, you can end Ranger's Focus to re-roll your duality dice to take a new the new result. Nice. So okay. I am going to focus on it. Oh, I have to I have to hit it first to make that work. Yes. Okay. Um. Alrighty. Uh, sure. <laughs> that is a twelve on the fear dice. Fear twelve fear. Um. That you uh, let loose an arrow. It hits into the side of this thing and hits its hide and bounces off. It is much uh, thicker hide okay. um, than that. Okay. I'm gonna flip over here a little bit to get a little distance. Uh huh. Um, and I think that's all I can do. Cool. And that that was your action to do that, right? Yeah, I, okay. I assume it's good. Cool. Hey, Shauna. Um, yes. I have a question, um, because yes. n new system, new update to system, who dis? Um, a new class feature that I have is now attack of opportunity as a warrior. If an adversary attempts to leave your melee range, not very uh -huh. close, but melee. So where he was, would that have been considered melee? Yeah. Okay. So I can make a reaction roll against their difficulty and choose one effect on the successful roll or two on a critical success. Will you allow me to do this? Yes, absolutely. Sweet. Okay. So I'm going to do the reaction roll. That's 2d12. Hey, hey, hey. Come here. Come here. Come here. All right, so that's a seven with hope against their difficulty. I don't know what that means. It, it's like that. It's, does that it's hit? What it is to hit, and um, and that hit. doesn't. Okay, hit. I figured. Okay, seven won't hit. But right, no worries. It's a hope with hope, so I get a hope. Cool, cool, cool. Sweet. Way to All go. right, thank you. Mm hmm. Um. Excellent. Uh. As she, as uh, Tuyet flits back, there's been swipes and um, arrows and uh, blades hitting this thing. Um, I would like to know what Kiku does up in this tree. <laughs> That's a damn good question. Uh... Oh boy, I was trying to look up some stuff really quick. Hold the on. cat is like, save the cat, please. I'm trying, bud. I'm really trying. Uh, save me, bud. Save me. I, I know, sir. I'm trying, okay? <laughs> uh, I'm going to spend two hope in uh, Reign of Blades. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That's us. So, spend two hope, conjure throwing blades that strike an enemy very close to you, make spell roll, all targets, take it, it is, is it vulnerable by chance? Um, it isn't vulnerable anymore. Darn. Okay. It was vulnerable so, for, for that moment. Straight roll. Uh, that is going to be 14 with hope. 14. Is its difficulty. Oh, nice. Yes. yes. So, uh, you gain a hope, and yeah. please roll me some of your damage here. One d eight. I'm gonna move your uh, your uh, token on to the action tracker. Very, so very much appreciated. Uh, yeah. That is a two damage. Two? Uh, I do. I roll one d eight. I I as a frog. This so cute. And I as a magic frog. That's a that's still a minor. Yeah. So there you go. I, I make like sweet it. songs about leaves and puddles. I don't do massive damage. <laughs> crunch, crunch, it's, crunch. It crunch, doesn't crunch, look great. Leaves. Sweet. Uh, it, that's because uh, what is it? That that's hope. Got back a hope. I'm still in the tree. Um, yeah. I will. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just stay there for right now and kind of like get back in the branches a bit. Hopefully, it doesn't see me. So <laughs> perfect. It um. <laughs> As, as you uh, let off this spell, it sort of comes from um, your staff and sort of like come moves out, pauses almost in the air 
and forms until there's a little glint that looks like two stars glinting before and hits into this alligator. Um, amazing. That was with hope. So, um, do I want to spend a fear die? I want to spend a fear die to interject right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna nom nom the dwarf still. Or I'm gonna had me. Why can't I? Why <laughs> earth in this? Okay, but it's really easy to hit you. So maybe eight. Uh, still hits. Yeah. Okay. okay, okay. Let's take. As long as your number is higher than my evasion number, it hits, right? Like that's how that works. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Please take nine points of damage, physical damage. I take none. I use an armor and take none. It, it just gets sunk into Ow. the plate that you have. You can hear the teeth sort of scrape off of the armor that you're wearing. Um, okay, excellent. That That's GM move. All right, yeah. Um, sure, why not? Issa will yeah. go in for a swipe at this thing now that her friends are out of the way. Um, yeah. So, uh, as I have affectionately named her Claws, Claws of Fire. Um, I love it. We will all fire. get the joke. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so yeah, she'll go ahead and do that. Um... Okay, they have the any benefits that would normally only apply to you. Okay. So. Well, it's an 18 on the fear dice. Okay, but that okay. hits. But that hits, all right. So, Fantastic. Um, on a success, their damage roll uses your proficiency and your damage dice. So my damage dice is 1d6 plus 2. Okay. Um, and then your proficiency, right? I don't know if that's... My proficiency is 1. So I'm not sure... So it'd be 1... I Go 1d6 plus 3. Okay. Because it's on my short bow, it's 1d6 plus 2. Oh. Oh, so maybe it's just okay. So maybe it's just it auto add it. So it's maybe one d six plus one. Interesting. So yeah. for my d six, no, it just says d six plus two. Physical. Doesn't say that it's already adding my proficiency or not. I don't mm. know. Your call. What would yeah, you let's like go. Do? Let's do one d six plus one right now. Well, no, it gets my proficiency. Yeah, that is the proficiency. It says, on a success, their damage roll uses your proficiency and their damage dice. Oh, I see what you're seeing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Three. Okay. Ooh. And she's going, and she is going for its eyes. She's trying to just keep blinding this thing as much as she yeah. can. Yeah. She takes uh, those claws in. in and just scratches um, these eyes, and it does a massive amount of damage. It starts like, uh, careening around, but it is with fear. Um, it is going to take the action. Does Issa have an evasion score? Uh, she does. It's, well... <laughs> Her base score is 10, but that's just the base score of anything. I feel like because she's a flying creature, yeah. she should probably have higher evasion than that, but again, yeah. that's not something we figured out beforehand, so... Um, my my evasion right now with everything is because I have nimble and I have flight, so my I'm at yes. twelve right now. So so let's go with your evasion score then, even though this okay. is going to be towards Issa. Okay, then I as will... it is, it's blinded. It's going to do it with disadvantage, but it's it's wildly just trying to chomp on whatever just came at it. Okay. With disadvantage, that's a five. No. Nope. Roll a natural two even... on the die. 
that wouldn't have hit before either. So we're good. We're good, guys. She's just, and she's going to zoom out of his range and uh, flit over towards Kiku and just kind of, you know, do her little, she's dashing over there and lands kind of on him. Yeah. I think she she moves over there, um, sort of lands on Kiku and like pecks a little bit at Kiku, looks at him and goes, like looks across the bank, like move. <laughs> um, cool. That is GM's move. So, um, back to you I'm, guys. I'm going to uh, wall in hiding, throw a dagger at it. I love it. Yeah. And just, mate, could you kindly fuck off? <laughs> And straight up voice cracks and everything. That's goddamn terrible. Uh, it's with fear, so take your your point, GM. I will take mine. Okay. She needs so many fears this time around. There's I a will, lot of fears in this. Movie. I will take my adversity token. Okay. Uh, so twelve on the fear die. Uh, plus four is sixteen. And then plus two is 18 with fear. And that is definitely going to hit. Nice. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, so that should be uh, nine, because I didn't throw both. I just threw one. So it. that'll be uh, nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. All right. As... Uh, oh, sneak attack. I'm sorry. Plus ooh. D6. Hell yeah. Uh, plus uh, five. Nine plus five, 14? 14. Okay. That's a major. Amazing. All right. Um, as you... Uh, as it nips out trying to grab Issa and she flits away, your voice cracks, and it begins to move blindly towards the sound, and its mouth is coming back around, and it's coming straight around towards Rurik, and as it begins to move right towards Rurik, can you please take over narration on oh, how yes. this new yes. is taken down by Scratch? Um, as that head kind of turns, um, there's been damage to its face, right? Yes. Its eyes are bleeding from scratches and burns. There's like a, a wound in the head from an axe. Yeah. So and like, your and your daggers, dagger daggers, moment yeah. So in like the side of its jaw. In that kind of like looking through through the the leaves of this tree, and just mate, can you just kindly fuck off? And that like f high pitch, it's very much yes. uh, akin to uh, oh, what's his name? Flaking on his name, garlic, holy water, fuck off, that guy. I Do you know oh. the production I was talking about and the guy, uh, Andrew Garfield? Andrew Garfield, yes, yes. Fuck off! Like, it's that, that level of crack. <laughs> and as it turns, just like, the <laughs> shit was that, like, still, like, careening to the sound, just <laughs> right in nice. the center of all the squishy goodness. Nice. And hopefully <laughs> I can get the dagger back. But you're gonna have to be quick. Make me uh, an agility roll. As this oh. it hits it, you can see it begin to not I'm move. I'm going to spend a hope for an additional plus one. And be taken away. I'm going to spend a hope to get it an additional plus one to this. Okay, okay. Feline instincts. Crit! Yeah! <laughs> Pretends, baby! I love it! Oh my gosh. Looking Jumping sick. as it moves down. It, as it moves downstream past you, you just jump out of the tree, grab the dagger, and jump backwards, back off, and land underneath the tree you were just in. Still on that oh. bank, but uh, with both of your daggers in tow. 
Sweet. I look at him. I Our go, friend is oh, the newborn. Thank goodness. Um, and then as fall it, back and collapse. As it was sinking down, could to it could to yet just notice at all if it was corrupted in any kind of way? Like Absolutely. I, I think she the minute she saw Scratch going back towards it, she's like lying into and then realizes, oh all right, he's good, and then kind of just hovers there for a for second it. looking Very for nice. it. This um, is something can Rurik is super me... interested in as well. If I can give advantage or yeah. if anything that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. You guys, um, I will say, yeah, you can give advantage for this role, uh, and... Rurik, as you guys are both checking this thing as it begins to move down the stream. Um, I would like a an instinct role. Okay. And does survivalist apply, apply to this at all or no? Um... I wouldn't say survivalist, but I would say uh, dark rituals might. If we yeah, I've got to a use that trait, instead. but I don't know how that works with to yet being the one to make the roll. Well, it would it would become your roll with advantage instead. Okay, so I mean, yeah, I've got a modifier that can apply or... to it. Go for it. Do it. Okay. okay. We'll do. To yet, uh, actually, to try and help you, to yet, we'll just kind of do the whole take the rope real fast out off her, you know out of her pack or belt or whatever and just yeah. kind of like wrap her and she's like literally doing the whole flying up and like Holy holding it like you know <laughs> straight so cute trying to hold it up for you as long as she can uh 22 total with hope 22 with hope beautiful Fucking um, dope. with this rope around your waist um a fairy holding you as as um as well as she can up a, a, as it moves downstream you kind of move with it a little bit to get a good look at it and it doesn't look like this thing was corrupted in any way just okay. really darn hungry and really scary all right probably territorial mm. uh, not this one not something that we have to be worried about in terms of uh, the the creepies just just your normal run of the mill standard monster Can it... huh? She can't even get words out. She's just trying to hold it up, and like She's... you see her wings just going so fast. Trying to oh get yeah, uh, all good. Okay. And she like lets go of the ro like lets go of one side of the rope and starts wheeling it up, and then cool. comes over to land Are... next to Kiku. Perfect. All right. Have you put him on the other side of the bank, or is he with you guys still where he was? Who? Kiko? No, Rurik. Oh, Rurik? Not yet. Yeah, where did you place him? Is my question. He was up in the air, right? No, and not you... Rurik. I was trying to hold the creature up in the air. Rurik's right I on understand. The bank. I understand. Oh, good. Then you just drop the creature and move on. Yeah, Very no, nice. I wasn't about to drop Rurik in the water. Although, if that would work, we could give it a try. Uh... <laughs> Um, I, love it. I, I was so going funny. to walk over to that log that um, we were trying to hit with the axe in the first place and start like yes. pushing it um, onto the bank. And as I do push it, I've seen this water move really fast. So I want to make sure that there's like rocks on either side of um, the bank side of the log to at least so it's anchored on one side at the very least. Absolutely. Just, like, rope um, or can you roll me a strength uh Roll, please. Hell yeah, I could do that for you. You got this. Man, that is a 23 with hope. Oh, man, you Yo. made it sound like you had failed that thing. Nah, I'm like, man, this is so good. This is a 10 and a 12. Nice. Would you um, please please take a hope? You gain a hope here. Oh, heck yeah. Um, yeah, you, you're able to get it just in a way that it is hitting up against a rock and isn't going to move down. It takes a, quite a bit of strength of you holding onto it to push it and get it into place. But there is now this very hefty log going Anchor across. Anchor it from the other side if you can before you cross. Uh, I can hold it. Oh, I've got <laughs> my axe. There and like tries to hold the log in place. It's twice her size. Like yeah, <laughs> it might hold you instead to it. 
the water is very fast. Fiat just flies right across and looks at Tenzin like... I mean, if I'm you hold it. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> K- Kiku approaches the, like, the bank. If there are any mud spirits here, pleased to meet you. Please don't bite me as I get to my friends. And as I start, like, slowly walking across the lock. <laughs> It's so cute. Um, you're able to do, 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 across the log. Um, you make it perfectly fine, and no mud spirits <laughs> say anything to you. Uh, Rurik, uh, can huh? you get across? Uh, I'm afraid I don't have any natural abilities. That... You walk across the log. Just use a rock to anchor it on your side before you come over yeah of course yeah that'll go great that'll go great that'll go great and i'm gonna take my short little stubby legs and get this little rock going over there and i'm gonna try to keep it all balanced as much as i can and waddle my way across cool you heft this log over and place it on the other side so now this log is holding one side where tenzin was and your your rock is holding the other side. So the water is just pushing up against, um, making the log push up against these two rocks. It looks a lot more sturdy now as you begin to move across, uh, being very careful, but moving across this, this log, you're set. Nice. Excellent, excellent. We get across? You are all across. We got across the river. Uh, Isa is going to have flown over to where um, Scratch is and has like done the same kind of burrow of on his chest, just the same kind of little radiating purring thing. I know we're not technically, but that's, you know, she's trying and it kind of falls under again. It falls under the again, that protect what's mine, you know, um, trying to just cuddle into you. I, I think Scratch was going to, like, get up and be like, Hey, by what food? And then just as soon as Isa just kind of laid on his chest, he's just kind of like, Ah, uh, no, just, just, no, I have to get up. No, no, I just, <laughs> no. Uh, You're not going anywhere. We as, should take as... a, a short rest so you can... He's asleep better. and purring. Okay, I good. Love it. That protestation lasted all of 30 seconds uh-huh, and he is yep. out and, and purring <laughs> and sleeping. And I'm pretty sure that the the re, the the heat wave purrs, he's matched them yes. at that point. If we're Very taking true. a short rest, I'm going to help resonance. tend to his wounds. Okay. Kiku's yeah. going to walk over and be like, food? 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 No, no food? Tuyet yeah, just who has been back. Yeah. Tuyet um <laughs> just for reference, flight only lasts for like a minute right now because it's by your level. So yeah. <laughs> it's faded at this point enough. Like, I don't know why. But <laughs> Harry, why can't I fly? Uh and she just she's tired. She's it's just a lot for your little wings. Yeah. When she flew over and looked at Tenzin, you know, it was like it then just kind of perched on Tenzin's shoulder. And when she hears the thing about food, just starts digging in her pack for those, you know, the fruit roll-up things that she yes. was making, the fruit leathers, and pulls out and pulls out some of them that are that she made before. Like she still has some from back home, but she pulls out the one that she's made and kind of does her little float flip down to sit down on the ground and starts pulls out her dagger and starts cutting off strips for everybody so that everybody yes. has a snack. All right, so in a short rest, you can um, you can do two moves, um, and yes. I am going to use both of my moves to tend to Scratch's wounds. So I rolled two D4s twice, so you get seven hit points back, Scratch. Oh, Woo! Nice. Nice. Well, I only have a total of six, so... So you're good. You're welcome. Full. Excellent. Uh, I'm gonna I'm take a little cat nap. Mm-hmm. How is everyone else doing? You can be. Um, um, I can tend to my own wounds. I'll be doing all right. 
Um, you can be repairing armor. You could be clearing stress. You could also be preparing for the next part of this journey during this time. Kiku is going to prepare by helping with food. By by helping with food, nice. I mean they're going to be they're going to be eating food. Fiat <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> is going to go ahead and um uh so we get two moves, correct? For correct. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, then she's gonna go ahead and um first to clear her one stress that she has she's gonna wander around the edge of where we are not going too far like she's just and she's looking for other fruits and things like that kind of stuff just natural things that she could pick up and help to make trail mix and you know the think like the stuff you can eat on the go it's not necessarily looking to make a meal right now she's just sure. looking for that kind of stuff sure. um anything that looks edible or good for the group Excellent. and also refilling water skins so she's kind of just Very doing nice. that Marvelous. that kind of you know like Thank the you natural clear um so and i guess that would fall under prepare so too like it yeah. clears her stress but it also is part of her preparing, preparing so the, for the perfect. kind of a I dual action in that yeah 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 um while you do this would you give me a, an instinct roll please sure and she gets her hope so i'm going to take that from preparing correct mm -hmm. instinct ha that's a crit Heck for a yeah. 21 hell yeah it spins baby I, I don't this. think I've critted yet, so I don't remember what I get. <laughs> um, you you get uh, hope, right? hope from Just it. One, I get one hope. One hope from it, yeah. You get and what then, you want. Yeah, you you get what you want. In this case, um, so you're able to find quite a few berries. There's some acorns and even like a few other seeds from like different types of flowers that you're able to um, gather in this moment. Uh, but also while you're out, uh, a ways down from where you guys were, a little further south, um, you go a little farther and can see a trail. And as you look down that trail, it sort of uh, heads down a hill and a ways. And it looks like there is a rock formation a she ways comes, away uh she comes again she comes because you guys have pretty much noticed she doesn't like walking like there's not right. it, as much as kiku kind of bounds and jumps and stuff she kind of moves similarly but it's more of a float but it's you know in my imagination when she flies that's when it's up but like any other time she She's still using her wings. It's just she's hovering kind of really low to the ground. And she comes back, like, zipping back. Think, like, Tinkerbell through the trees, okay? And oh. she's, there, there's a there's a big rock. We found it. It is we found not too it? far. Hmm. Scratch. You must wake up now. Scratch. I also found, found berries and, uh -huh. and acorns <laughs> and seeds. Tuyat is Tenzin. amazing and has found us some food, has something to eat, and we Not have that. to go. <laughs> she pulls the seed away. She was trying to give it to Tenzin to like take home to his village. <laughs> it's like, not the seed. I don't, don't even know what this is yet. Don't eat that one. Yeah. <laughs> not that one. <laughs> what what is this to uh. it? Uh, seeds. Seeds that could new uh new plants. <sighs> Here. And she puts uh, like half the seed she found in Tenzin's hand to I, I and will, close his hand over it. I will take them, and when I return home, if I, I I will give them to our our growers. I do not know if these plants will survive in our harsh climate, but if anyone can make it work, they can. Thank you for this gift. And she she immediately holds out some of the fruit that was already like made into the fruit yeah. leathers to scratch. <laughs> Um, Rurik, during this You already downtime, have yours! <laughs> during this downtime, were you clearing your... Sorry, were you tending your wounds? or Yeah, so bandaging myself up, doing some basic first aid. I rolled a three on my d4, so that's enough to clear all the damages that I had. Perfect. Uh, and... and then from there, 
I'm uh, I'm gonna eat a nice hearty meal for the second trek of our journey uh, and just make sure I got some energy going for the rest of the day and that'll give me uh, a hope as I prepare for the rest of the it. journey amazing I love that um, you are able to have a little bit of this uh, this moment eating the fruits and whatnot having a little bit of a um, having a little bit of opportunity of knowing where you're you're able to go next um, scratch other than taking a cat nap I will work on mm -hmm. my armor and my cat nap is uh, worth only reducing one stress apparently yeah. Woo. okay <laughs> but I did get three armor slots back so I'll take that nice heck yeah I love it I think it's just seeing the, the state of my armor just slowly turning into just, it's mainly held together with sinew and, and thread at this yeah. point, and less leather. Yeah. Um, excellent. You are able to um, sit in this moment and um, have some, some food with each other. You're able to um, enjoy at least the other side of this bank. It still looks like um, you're in a forest, but it is kind of dispersed a little bit on this side. It's not as clustered with trees and you can go quite a few paces before hitting the next tree. Um, and as these beautiful autumn leaves fall and you guys begin to move down this hill, uh, you notice that there is a giant rock of some kind ahead of you uh, towards the bottom of this hill. Well, I'll be damned. Is it shaped like a fish? Am I looking like a jumping fish? <laughs> As you move down towards this um, this uh, statue, it is in a way shaped like um like a big boulder and then it has been carved and eaten and eroded away to where it sort of leans and comes around to one side much like a fish jumping out of water and that's almost like what we're looking for almost like what you're looking for um yes. you're able to notice which way the fish is jumping and it points a little bit northeast is this the way we go that is what we are told i guess so if we have our heading seems like it all checks out so far then let us go Um, as we start walking in the direction we're going, um, I would like to um, talk with Kiku. So I want to, I want to keep pace with him. Um, uh, I would like to employ Tuyet's ability to be completely silent and not be detected. <laughs> She's actually riding on Tenzin's shoulder this entire time. I love that. I love I love Tenzin that. was the last person she said. She's probably kind of dozing. She's yeah. not really like... But yeah. Man, I got a knowledge of plus zero and I'm very into <laughs> what I'm doing right now. So I'm pretty sure I'm just not I, I personally keep track of who I've said she's on, trying to make sure it. that I'm keeping track of where I am. So that's the only reason I'm throwing that out there as a player. Just if hanging out on my to tell her, If you want to tell her to get lost. No, I, I don't recognize she's there. It's all good. You're just hanging out on my horns. There. Um... Uh, Kiku. Yeah? You... You are very powerful. Are I you, mean... Are you an elder where you come from? <laughs> no, no, I'm... I'm very much not. I'm, I'm kind of young. Um... Wait, you mean like... What's an elder mean to you? An elder to me is like my mom, my grandpa, my grandma, like... Y yes, 
Oh. Same to me, but they 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 make the final choices in our village. Oh, they carry the no. wisdom. Oof. No, no, that's that's no. that's definitely not me. And I don't want that responsibility because the people come to you and they want to know what to do. But I don't know what to do half the time. I mean, I almost stepped in a thing's mouth. Is well, Scratch is also very smart and experienced, and he did step into a thing's mouth. So, well, I mean, did he step or did he go axe throwy over the water into the mouth? There's very different things. I just saw a puddle and was like, woohoo, water! And he was like, I'm gonna go flying. <laughs> I think you have an outlook on life that is important to have. There is a wisdom in the beauty in which you look at the world. I don't think being an elder, or at least having the wisdom of one, is too far off for you, my friend. Oh. I think I this I mean it's all new to me. I, I I was from a very small like coastal thing. all of this is new and it's awesome and it's cool. It's also this scary and terrifying. This is all very new for me as well. I am not from any place like this. Yeah. You are from the 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 coast? A coastal a coastal like like farming community, but you know, that 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 ended quickly and I uh, I'm now out here having fun, enjoying you know, the world. Where the community you come from, uh, is everyone as powerful as you are with the, uh, the, the magic that you have? I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know if people having these abilities. Like, we're kind of just very humble farmer folk. And then, you know, I kind of set a field on fire. And was like, I was like, oh, shit, gotta go. So I, like, left. <laughs> wow. Uh, we, you know. Only our elders have the ability to wield such magic. And they will use fire magic to help keep us warm. I mean, among other I things, I do like the little star things, and I can do some other powerful stuff. I don't think I can, like make fire yet. That would be really cool because you know, then I can help with dinner more than just eating the food, which I'm I, really good at and I'm really I can, excited for. I can teach you how to make a fire. Although uh -huh. we, our elders, use their magic to make fire, we are all experienced in how to make fires ourselves or we would not survive long in the cold would you like me to teach you the next time we are stopped yes because so far down the road i ran into my teacher and then i ran into the village and then with you guys so i haven't actually been on my own so if ever it happens i think i'm going to be in big trouble cause... yes that is very important i am happy to teach you any of the survival skills that i have learned i do not know how many of them will come in handy here in this forest. Tuyet is probably better suited for this climate, but uh, there are skills I think I have that will translate anywhere. That'd I'll be happily awesome. share with you what I know. Yeah, I mean, I don't know much. I can help with some of the star stuff and like show you some tracking with the sky here, but like survival, not my thing. I would, I would love that. I too will gaze at the stars at night. We yeah. have beautiful sky where I am from. At times, the, 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 the snow sprites will dance in such a way that they've become huge, and they dance in bright ribbons of colors all across the sky. You notice, you like the bound, the bounding stops. What's a snow sprite? Uh, what's that? Wait, wait. What's snow? Snow is, uh, it is water, but frozen. And ice? But soft. It is soft. So soft, it, frozen it falls, water. It falls from the sky onto the ground and makes a soft pillow. Uh, but it can also harden and become ice. There are many different types of snow. Ah. Uh. Okay. It, it is very beautiful. It can be very dangerous as well. It's snow sprites. Ah. Uh, so. Ah. Uh, I believe here I, I have seen them. But they were referred to as... Um, were they luminescence or what were they called? 
uh gm what what are the what are they called <laughs> iridescence iridescence uh iridescence is that what you call them down from the mountain i spoke to a traveler I... on my path and apparently there are iridescence everywhere in the world and everyone will pay honor to them on their travels i simply where i come from we have called them by a different name i suppose ah. snow sprites and iridescence are the same thing i like that better i mean iridescence cool no disrespect spirits no disrespect i think they accept <laughs> any name as long as it is given with honor but i like i like the the, the, the beauty of that snow sprites Hmm. Cool. You say you are from the coast. Yes. Well, a coast. I'm assuming there's multiple. That is... That is, uh... By great water, is it not? It is. There's a big, big ocean. Um, where boats come in all the time. And there's smaller lakes and stuff, which is why you know, I'm pretty good at swimming. But, yeah. Big, fast... Like During the day, it's kind of hard to look at. Like, you shouldn't do that. Like, if the sun's up and you're looking right at the ocean, don't do that because the reflection kind of hurts. Um, mm, yes, like the, the sun on, on snow. Yes, same. Oh, ah, okay, okay. Mm. Um, but it's awesome at night because then there's the nice calm of the water and the sound of the waves, and you look out at the stars. What do the waves sound like? Peace and comfort. I miss it, but you know, I'm it. It's a new adventure. There's, there's. I'm sure there'll be waves here, and not ones that will have mud sprites or big yelly gator thingies, because that was terrifying. There's a lot of things out here that are trying to kill us, like every night. Yes, <laughs> where I am from, I am one of the warriors of my village who make sure that. All of the things that could come kill everyone, do not do that. Ah, that's awesome we have you on this party, because Yeah, this is this is this is a lot, but it's so cool still too. It is I have never set foot far from my home, just the local trading post. This is the farthest I've been, and everything is dangerous and new and beautiful. And yeah. I'm very happy to be with so many capable people that know so many skills that I do not. Yeah. Yes. The Thank stars... You, uh, I've noticed the stars look different here than they do in my home. They're in a different position. Oh, well, they will be, depending on where you're Some of them are at. still the same. Well, you're, you're, you said you're from no north, right? High, yes. high, high up? Yes. Yeah, so for you, the stars will stay kind of normal as you travel, and so do the stars travel with you. So we can all look at the same stars sometimes, but your location dictates which ones you see consistently. Well, I'm glad I found myself here among these stars and yeah. among these people. Yeah. And as you kind of notice, as he like looks up, and it's the daytime, but he looks up, the little like twinkles of stars in his eyes kind of flicker as a longing for the day star to go away so the other ones can come out. I believe we all have much to teach each other, friend. I look oh, forward to what we can learn. Oh, there's so much to learn. I'm excited. And the, kind of the, the bounce comes back. As you begin bouncing along, thinking about what this adventure could be leading to. Tenzin, your mind goes to this, uh, your home where snow covers the land, where a small village sits in the cold, but it also sits in the hope. And you think about these snow sprites, these tiny little iridescence that flit and reflect off of the snow. And Kiku, as you bounce along, thinking about your coastal hometown and the 
part just before nighttime, right when stars begin to peek out of the sky, the water that sits on the waves, those little flits of light that grow and refract off of the water, iridescence once more, but in a different location. You, as a group, begin to move through the afternoon and heading well into the afternoon, but not quite evening yet. You're able to move northeast. And as you move further and further through this wood, it opens up more to where you can see the sky and the sun kind of streams in and past leaves through and into your path here. It takes just a bit of time before you move over an area and as you crest over a hill within this area, you notice down below a sort of uh, rock, big rock formation that is in front of you. And there seems to be a kind of opening towards the entrance there. And Kiku, in a weird way, the memories of the water and the stars as they both twinkle. You look down at this entrance to this huge rock formation and it seems like there's these tiny little twinkles coming from within. I think you guys have made it to the Crystal Hollow. And as you have moved and are move, beginning to move down to this entrance um, with some sort of refracting light from inside, I think that is where we will end our session for today. Nice. <sighs> Yay! Oh. I love it. How cute. Aw. Okay, friends. Yes. That fantastic. As always. I love it. You guys are so fun to to play off of at, at a table. It's it's like maybe my favorite thing ever. I love this table so much. I love playing with all of you. Yeah. Indeed. Same. All right. And we're glad that you have joined us uh for this. Thank you so much for stopping by, Geeks. Um, we love having you here over at Supporting Roles. And um, we hope to see you the next time we play. Um, stay tuned to our socials to know when we're going to be playing next, but it will be on a Monday. So uh, yeah, stay close to socials so you know when we're going to be meeting. And until next time, stay mythic out there, Geeks. Bye.